ओके बाग सुजीस I think I'll just kind of use my head, kind of figure out where this should be. So this should be roughly around here, yeah, like so. I know I'm getting this weird, this weird shape in there. So I'm just I'm just going to smooth this down. Maybe that's way too aggressive. We just need something to be in there. Then later we would we would work on it a bit more, kind of get out the shape properly in there. But at least for now, that should be fine. Basically, just mapping out where things should be. Okay, so it's roughly around there. Roughly around there should be fine. Let's do this also. But this one should be actually on the lower subdivision level though. So I've already captured the shape, so I'll just essentially with that a bit, maybe use a smaller brush size. Then I'm going to okay, the same brush, I'll just the same standard brush. I'll just hold out and then just dig in there. Go to higher subdivision level, you should see something in there a bit more. Maybe sorting it out a bit more like so. Nah, something is not right in this. So let's use the move brush. Go to a lower subdivision level. And just bend the tip facing this way a bit more okay something shaped like this should be fine yeah i think we are good for the lips yeah we are good for the lips probably softening it out a bit more Okay. So obviously we need to make this lower lip a bit fuller than the upper lips, but for now I think let me figure oh I think my lips is just way too wide. So it's kind of she kind of ends somewhere around here instead. So let's go to a lower subdivision level in here. And with the move brush, move things in place. So just way too wide. Let me do this from the side view instead. Probably from this view, this view should be better to kind of capture this properly. Like so. So let's see where we are at on this. So it's be ending around the air. So I need to push it forward a bit more.
Yeah, somewhere around there should be fine. So even though you're moving things, you want to be careful not to do it too much and then break break it. You don't want to do that, so you have to be very careful in there. And I'm seeing now for the lower lips now. I need to get the lower lips all the way to the back. So it is standard brush. All the way to the back like so. <clears throat> Something like so. So we still, we, still, we still have this guy looking a bit older than I should be, should be right now. So which part should we focus on now? <clears throat> So the move brush. So I'm trying to figure out the, for the nose now. So for the nose, let's go to the lower subdivision level in here. So for the nose, we push this out some more. Now let's let's focus on let's focus on the eye a bit more now. Focus on the eye a bit more. Hmm. I still feel like I need to make some adjustment on the lips. Not really on the lips, though, but the this particular region of the lips here. So, just want to make sure everything is in the right spot where it should be. Okay, so I use them standard brush now and just create an indentation around here. With an indentation around the air. Did I even do anything? Oh, actually, did but the brush size is just way too wide for it. Let's increase the intensity a bit more. So have it in there, so it's around here, so let's just accentuate that a bit more. Okay, somewhere around here. We're just blocking in this, the major landmark that we can find. So we have something around here. Let's block that in also. It's like when I do this on top of the on top of the um, what's it called? On top of the spotlights is not it's not it's not as intense as when I do it directly on the mesh. So you want to kind of keep that in mind. So I have to create an indentation around the air. Uh, no, that's in the wrong, that's in the wrong place. Let's make sure we're doing that correctly. Okay, 
okay I just block that in for now a shape to this lip a shape to the lower lip so i like to <clears throat> like to capture that in there let me just bring out the reference on this side the shape to the lower lip so with the move brush no is the much smaller brush size to it something like so something like so okay it should be it should be a bit better now I think I'll need to raise this lower lip up a bit higher. Let me do this from the side view instead. From around this region. Okay, something like this should be fine. Yeah, this is almost like a boring process, but quite important, kind of get things to look right. Okay. Yeah, I've not even touched the side view that much. So for the side view, we just need to, need to kind of figure out what should be in here. Let me check this from the side. I'll raise, I'll raise this up a bit, <clears throat> up a bit higher. Smooth that out a bit more. Okay. So now let's 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 go for the brow region. Let's see what we have on the brow region. What can we adjust in here? We're not getting a similar eye to this character, but I think let me take down the brush size. I think. I would need to raise we well, having so much light in here so we can't really tell the details properly so because there isn't enough, enough shadow to give us enough proper details around it so I think I think I have an idea so I'm going to go to Photoshop I'll go to Photoshop and then I'm gonna see some more of the some more details from that reference image. So I would I want to get some more shadow details. So I'll just drag and drop this inside of Photoshop. So I'll add a convert to smart objects. So camera raw filter for this.
So now let's accentuate. So let's kind of fix. Let's kind of get some more contra contrast to this character. So I increase the texture. Let's try. Let's try and eliminate some shadows in there. So you can see more of the character's face and <clears throat> some shadow depth in there to kind of figure out what we can do to kind of make this feel a bit better. But I don't, I don't completely animate the shadows though, so we still need some kind of measure of, measure of shadows in there though. So. Let's take down every sharp, any sharp highlights in there. Uh, the contrast. In some around there should be fine. So I'll save this. So let's save this into the directory we need it for. So it should be in here. Let me save this as a JPEG. So save this as a JPEG. Uh, let me just name this to ref PS. Okay. So in our reference, we can drag and we can drag and drop that in there. So so you can actually read more of the depth in there. So let's just put it side by side. And let's go back to ZBrush. Okay, so this should, this should help, help us even more to kind of know, to kind of figure out some more depths. So now we can find some depths in this reference that we can sculpt in. Uh, I don't know if I need to make any other major correction to this though. So now I can see the job properly now. Can see it's the job properly now. So, oh, can see something we can actually change in here. So, let's increase our brush size a bit more. Let me just push this to the side. So we have a lot of flesh around here, so let's just push that down or in rather. Okay, so we're getting something now. Obviously, we need to remove these cheeks, this shape in here. So let's probably let's smooth that out so we don't see that so much of that anymore. Okay. Yeah, getting getting something. We just need to block out those major structures of the. Of the face, so we can kind of capture the silhouettes properly. As soon as we capture the silhouettes properly, then we can just go free. <clears throat> we can just go free and and then block out precisely what we need in there. So that's why I'm spend, spending a lot of time in here to kind of get to kind of get this to look right. 
So let me take this, take down the brush size. I need to extend this out some more. Did I do that too much? Maybe something like so. Just trying to make sure I'm not going overboard in there. Just try this blink man. Ah, this blink man just cuts in so much shadow depth on this side. Trying to kind of figure out what what to do on this side. So I think think this chin. I don't know how thick this chin should be though. I'm gonna figure out how thin. Uh, let's make it a bit more angular. So let's let's get an angle like so. Let me hide this for now. I want to hide. Oh no no. Then uh <clears throat> What am I doing? Let me just mark this out completely instead. So give it, give that a separate poly group. So I'm gonna get an angle like so. So I can figure out how thick I want this should be. Uh, let me push this in like so. Okay. I think I will need to push this in some more. Let's okay, let's try and let's do this. Let's see if we can capture this from the reference in here. So I'll just push this in some more. Okay. Think I'll push this. Inward some more also. This guy has some kind of strong jaw to him, so I like to make sure that jaw the jaw is shamed properly. So come to the side view. Kind of extend out this jawline. I'll push this in some more. Maybe use the standard brush, holding alts. Let's get some more depth around here. Smooth that out. Okay. Something like this should work. Let me undo that. That's way too intense. No. Smooth that out. Okay. Let me go to the side like so. And I think we need to make some adjustments on the chain now. On the cheek region somewhere around there so let's try and capture some likeness around there so 
So I'll just punch this in some more. Oh, great. It's in the wrong brush, so it's supposed to be a move brush. Okay. I'm getting something in there. Okay, so you just need to make sure this kind of accentuates the this back of the jaw a bit more. I think something like this should be fine. Then let's use the dem standard brush. I'm just looking at the nose now. I don't know if the height of the nose is just way too much. So let's. Okay, the move brush, let me push push this up a bit more. Okay. And since we don't really have a side view, we don't really have a side view, so we're just going to try to figure out let's try to figure out what should be in there. So let's work a bit more on the nose. Okay. Okay, something like this should be what should be fine. Then from this side. I think this bit should be this bit should go in a bit more. So it's not too visible. Okay. So back to the reference image. Let's see what we can block in here. Okay, we have a line around here, so let's just let's get that line in there. There's a depth around there, so I'm going to use a standard brush. Let's start with this around here. I think we need some might around here. Let me raise this up a bit higher. It's something like something like this. Get this a bit higher, like so. That should be fine. Okay. Uh what well, yes. Uh I don't think I can swap. I think I can I wish I can swap this for this particular reference, but this one has more details in there. So but let's just figure out the next detail to block in. Okay. Let me get this around it. I'm trying to create, I'm trying to recreate this depth we have around here. So let's block that in now. So with the damn standard brush. Let's see if that is in the right place. 
okay yeah, yeah he's in the right place we have another one we have another one around here also so this one goes around all the way like so goes around so let's try and capture that in there So it goes all the way around here. Mm, I'm not sure I did that correctly though. But that particular shape is this. Let me just see if I can show you guys. Let me undo, let me undo the one I have. I think the reference should be... Where is that reference? Yes, so that part last shape should is. Let me see if I can just find this in here. Yes, we can find that in here. So that part last shape is what we have around here. So you can see how it goes across all the way, all the way around here. So that is shape we're trying to recreate. So this, this will give us a clearer understanding as to what I'm, I'm about to do. So this, this gives me a good idea where that should be. Then this this shape we just created for around the eye is what we have in here. This shape around here. Okay, let me see if I can just take a screenshot of this. Let me just take a screenshot of this instead. So you guys can get a kind of understand what I'm doing. Can I just get this a bit wider? Okay. Yes, yeah, so yes, something like this then. I think I'm going to do a screenshot for the both of them so, so, you, so you guys can get a clearer idea as to what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. So I'm, not, I'm going to take a screenshot of this. Should have. Okay, so now I've taken the screenshot now, so let's just uh great. I'll just move this out. Uh let's move this, let's move these guys out of the way so I can better explain. So something like this now. So this shape I created in here. Let's see. I think let's paint something in there. Okay, yes. Erase. I'm just erase this off. So so this shape, like this depth I created now, which is around this region, like so. I'm sure you guys can see that in the reference already is what we have around here also yeah this should be fine is what we have around here also then this shape i'm trying to recreate now this shape like so is what we have around here So we have around there so you can actually see the i see the difference now and kind of pick on on what i'm actually doing so they have, we have on that shape around the air you can see a shape around the air that is what we have that's this is kind of fat tissue we have somewhere around the air also so if you kind of keep in mind what you're actually doing you'll be able to tell based on the anatomical, re anatomical reference image here yeah, to kind of figure out where some of those some of those marks, some of those landmarks are kind of put in your scope. So if I change this now, so we have another one going around here, like so. No, that's I didn't draw that properly, but I'm sure you guys get, get the idea. So is what we should have around somewhere around here also. Okay, so keeping that in mind, I'm kind of making sure you can see this part also. 
like a separation around here there's another fleshy part around here this is what we have around here also so keeping that in mind is what i'm, I'm just kind of I, I already have this in mind so just using this anatomically anatomical reference image helps kind of define where that shape to, that shape should be precisely so going back to our sculpt let me just hide this and then make this a bit smaller so it's not taking up some more space just put this around here okay So let's do this correctly. So let's go back in here and bring out the reference. Don't use them standard brush. Let's block that in. So that's the shape we have in here. It's not it's quite faint now. Shape is quite faint, but we still have it in there. Probably we should accentuate that a bit more. Yeah, something like this. So I'm just blocking that there just to just to make sure I know where I'm blocking that in. So when I kind of start blocking things in a bit more and defining them, I know exactly where they are. So we see that there's a tick, there's this part is just way too thick. So let's bring that down some more. So I'm not going to go to this angle like so. I can see that in there. So with the move brush, let's just probably even smooth this down. Or maybe just blend that in. Let's just use the clay builder brush from this angle. From an angle like this. And just continue. Oh, let's take turn of turn this off and just continue that elevation. Okay. Then we'll smooth it down some more. Let's take down the smooth intensity. Smooth this down. All right, something like this should be fine. So which other landmark do we have? The reason I'm doing this is because so that's when I when I stop using the spotlights, I would just respect where I kind of created this created this landmarks, kind of kind of this landmark to so kind of know where or light kind of know where and how to respect the shape of this reference. So I can so I, so I can kind of get something close to a likeness in there. So let me just use the move brush and then just elevate this elevate this a bit more maybe i elevated that way too much so let's just push this back down some more like so All right, so we've captured most of the landmark. Now let's focus a bit, a bit more on the eye. Let's get the eye to look right. Okay. So with them standard brush. Let's take down the size for this. Let me increase the brush a bit more. Uh, maybe we should start by smoothing this out. Let's start by smoothing this out. Like so. Okay. Then let's create a shape in there 
I don't know if I did that, did that correctly though. Let me get a closer view on this. Think I can just. No, let me do this correctly. Yeah, something like so. Hold out and accentuate this a bit more. Still need them standard brush. Let me just take down the brush size some more. While well, almost getting to the part where we would stop, we might still stop using the. We might still stop. We might stop using the. Uh, what's it called? The spotlights. So we're just kind of accentuating most of the details we already have already already have in here. Let's go. Let me go to a higher subdivision level. Something like this. Then I'm just going to hold it out. So I'll just block out the thickness for this, like so. so. At least now I know where that is. Hold it out also. Do the same for the top parts. So to make this part a bit more obvious. Okay. Yes, I've captured that in there now. <clears throat> I think for the most part, we have done most of the block outs. I've done most of the block at least in the regions where you want to kind of respect where we as we start creating some more detail shape in there. Yeah, this is looking weird down here. Let me just see if we can capture something in there. This part seems too thick, too thin rather. Feels too thin around here. So with the move brush, I'll just kind of push this down, kind of create some more kind of thickness around there. Yeah, something like this should be fine. Okay. So yes, I think this should be fine now. We can now go free and I'm beginning to block out some more shape around this and make this look more oh i think i think probably is something though, though i'm not going to completely remove the i'm not going to completely hide i'm not going to completely hide um the what's it called the spotlights because i was thinking it's going to do some more work in there but for the most part i kind of captured most of the shape so I'm going to kind of push this in some more. Let me come to this and let me kind of figure out what is around the uh, I think we need some more depth around the uh, around this region. We need some more depth around this region. So I think I can I think I can do this from this from an angle like so. So I'll just come get a good angle on this. Just push this down some more. Yeah, yeah, something, something around this nature like so should be fine i'll raise this up a bit higher 
So this one should be a bit closer. I need to raise this part a bit higher. Okay. Somewhere roughly around there should be fine. So I'm going to use the clay brush holding out. I'll just dig in here a bit more like so. Kind of create some more depth around there. Let me do this from let me use this angle instead, kind of figure this out. So you can see you can see some let me dig this in some more, smooth that out. I can see this shape around here. So I kind of want to kind of accentuate that for the eye. So we have a shape going around the uh, like so. Let's check this out. Yeah, something like this. But maybe it's just way too intense. Maybe I made it way too intense. I think I probably made that way too intense. Let me undo that. Let's take down the intensity, take down the brush also. Let's just do something a bit gentle around there. So something like this should be fine, something a bit more gentle. Okay. Uh, I think we would need more depth around the air. So I'm trying to be more careful with the corrections I'm making now on this. I'm trying to make sure I'm kind of following this one to one properly. But still looking at this reference for the head around here, just to make sure I'm doing this correctly. So there's a depth around here too. So let's just capture that depth. Let's capture the depth around here gently. And I'll smooth that out. But it's still there. But not very obvious, but still there. I think I still want them standard brush. Add the depth around here. Okay. I think this piston needs to be a bit deeper than it is right now. Now smooth that down. All right. Something like that. Oh, what did I do? I think I removed that. Okay, so this is just you just this is you just making subtle subtle changes that will just give you that look we're going for. So I'm being really careful here so I don't ruin the shape completely. Let me get this in a little. Okay. Okay. So I think. We need a bit more depth around here, so I'm going to use the standard brush. Keeping this in, keeping this shape in mind, keeping this shape in mind here. Yeah. Just do oh, 
let us do something like so check this from a distance smooth that out a bit more all right something like that should be fine they should oh, undo that so with them standard but they're not shape around here Let me just do this more gently, smooth that out. See now for the temporal line, I think around the air. Need some depth around this. Let's just we can use the spotlight for this. Let me just do a quick save for this file. Okay, so now let's bring this out. I think I've done this tutorial really long enough. I'm going to continue this in the next chapter. So.